the wonderful counselor is present with us. And he is desiring to be with us on the mountaintops, but also in the valleys. And so as we receive communion, no, his grace and his mercy is for you. His grace and his mercy is for us, no matter what it is we face, to heal, to restore, and to guide us. On the night Jesus was crucified, he had a meal with his close friends and followers. And during the meal, he took bread and he broke it. And he said, this is my body broken for you. I want to do this. I want you to do this in remembrance of me. Let's take and eat together. And after the meal, he said, this cup, it's a new relationship between the Father and you restored. And it's going to be sealed or created by the shedding of my blood. And so in remembrance of me, I want you to drink together often. So let's take and drink together. It would be really nice to just say, well, we had a good teaching we drank some juice, we ate some bread, everything's fine. But for some of us, everything's not fine. Uh, and so because of that, I want to take a few extra minutes here before we leave and spend some time in prayer. Uh, we're going to have one focus, but there, if there's more that needs to be prayed for, we invite you. Uh, Jeff, I haven't asked you. I didn't ask permission, but I'm just asking you. Come up here. We want to pray over you. Grab them and bring them with you, please. Jeff is the dad of Hannah, and Hannah is a young teen who has been through hell for the last years. And, uh, and so what happens is she's got two weird diseases that mix together, and anytime she tries to eat things or when they get flared up, it, it's like her body feels like she's having an allergic action, and all of those things that happens when you get a stung or whatever happens in like magnitude. And so this week they, they put a feeding tube down, to bypass the stomach, to give her nutrition for six weeks to let the stomach kind of settle down and some of those irritant things to settle down to see if then they could reintroduce food and that wouldn't happen. Good things were taking place, but I'm, but I'm hearing that she just had another allergic reaction last night. Uh, and so we pray. We don't know what else to do, but we know that when we pray, we're not praying to just a God. We're praying to the wonderful counselor. So I'm going to ask everyone to stand up with me. I've got my oil here to anoint. We're going to anoint Jeff on behalf. If you're a leader in our church or love this family, I invite you to come forward. Uh, and if there's something else I don't want to bypass that you want anointed for, I have it. We will be. Just ask me before we go. Uh, but we're going to pray uh, on behalf of Hannah. Um, and we, what? Yeah, Scott, make sure you record this so we can take it. Uh, it's Anna. And we, we've done this before in seasons of, of just confusion, of hopelessness. And so I'm going to declare this again. Uh, I'm calling our church to fast and pray this week for Hannah. Uh, I'll give you the freedom to choose what that looks like for you. If you want to fast a meal this week, or if you want to fast something else, or if you want to fast more. Uh, but Jesus tells us some things are only attacked with prayer and fasting. And so we as her family, and we as her church, uh, need to go to bat once again for her, asking for God to work against the power of darkness that seems to be having a foothold in her physical body right now. The amazing thing is the darkness doesn't have a foothold in her spiritual body. She's an amazing young woman that blesses you when you try to go bless her. Uh, and so through it all, her eyes have been fixed on Jesus, and so we want to continue to support her. And so Jeff, we anoint you on behalf of Hannah, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Wonderful counselor, we come to you once again to lift up your daughter. The one that you created, the one that you knit together, the one that you love passionately. Lord, we don't understand, we don't get this, we can't figure it out, but we know that you're still God, you're still in control, and so we're asking that you would fight against the darkness right now that you would fight against the evil that's trying to destroy her body. Lord, we're asking that you as the wonderful counselor 
who knows what it feels like to be sick, who knows what it's like to lose loved ones, who knows what it's like to have hopelessness abound, but also knows what it's like to be in the full presence of the kingdom where there is no sickness, there is no death, there is no dying, there is no hopelessness. And so we're asking that you as the wonderful counselor would be present with Hannah right now. I ask that you, the wonderful counselor, would touch her body right now. And that the same power that raised you from the dead would invade her and quiet these things down that are causing issues and allow healing, restoration, wholeness to take place. Lord, I pray for Jeff and Karen, for Brian, the rest of the family, and those who are close, Lord, we ask that you would give them peace at the very hardest part, the deepest part of the pain and the hurt, watching her go through this over and over and over and over again. Lord, we ask that you would speak into their hearts right now, but that you, the wonderful counselor, would guide them second by second, moment by moment, minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day, Lord, and that you would do a thing that only you can. We trust you. We call on you. We ask that you would be their wonderful counselor. In Jesus' name we pray. God's people said, Amen. 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 John, let's finish that song.